Hi guys, so summer is here, the sun is out and there's a lot of fruits and veggies that are in season now and they're just packed with all the nutrients and vitamins that you can desire. And as much as we love to eat them uh, fresh right now, we love them even more dehydrated and stored for the future. So today we're going to make very easy, quick DIY dehydrator from uh, everyday items that we have laying around in the house or that we scavenged from outside. So let's get to it. This is going to be a very easy and, and simple project. For that we're going to need some wood. We got this wood from dismantling an old bed, but you can uh, break down a pallet or something like that so you don't have to buy it. Cooling rack that we don't use anymore in the kitchen. A piece of tempered glass that we have from an old fridge, again, that we don't use anymore. Something to cut the wood with. So we got this electric saw, but you can use a hand saw as well, very easy. A drill, some screws, something to measure stuff with. A speed square to align everything and make sure that it's straight. And then some clamps to put everything together while you're assembling it. That's it. Simple. Our piece of tempered glass, it's a couple of centimeters larger than the cooling rack. So we're going to use the glasses measurements, which is 46 by 30 centimeters to cut the pieces of wood. So let's start with the first one. We're going to have to have two measurements on the length of this, which is 46. And we can use it as an indicator of where we need to draw the line to cut. And then one more time. And we're doing this because uh, our piece of tempered glass is a couple of centimeters bigger on each side. Uh, compared to the drying rack. These two pieces of 46 centimeters are going to be the length of the box itself. So we're going to put this aside. For the next two pieces of wood, we're going to have to cut two at 30 centimeters that are going to go underneath and we need them underneath because we need a support for the cooling rack, something like this, that's going to give it airflow. So the airflow is going to allow the, the fruits and veggies to dehydrate without molding from the humidity. And then we're going to need two pieces of wood at 27 centimeters that are going to give us the width of the box. So let's get on with it. This is going to be cut out. And now we have all of our pieces of wood measured and ready to be cut. Now that we have all of our pieces of wood cut, we got the 46 centimeters, the 30 and the 27 centimeters. In the front, so decide which, which side is going to be the front of the box. Uh, you want to measure a bit in the middle here, so you can make like a lip, that you can get the, the tempered glass off, because it's not going to be directly attached with any you know, systems to it. It's just going to be, you put it on and you take it off, that's it. But you want to have a notch here so you can lift the, the tempered glass without having any issues. So I'll just, we already measured it, I'll use my bushcraft knife to just cut a bit of, of the wood away. Once you're happy with the notch, with the indentation that you make, just get some uh, sandpaper and smooth out the edges, just so you don't get any splinters in your fingers or, I don't know, your loved ones that are gonna operate it. Now, all that's left is to put everything together and see the finished product. So let's get on it. We're gonna be using screws 
just to make sure that we have a tight fit and everything stays nicely together for a long time. I'm using the speed square to align everything and make sure that all the pieces of wood are straight because it's very important for them to be uh, perfect so that the tempered glass on top is gonna fit nicely. This is up, now we need to put it upside down and make more holes for those two. Now that all the screws are in and we have the basic box, what I'm gonna do is just use the sandpaper, I think it's 80 grit, just to smooth out all of the corners and bits and pieces. Just so we don't get any splinters when we handle it. So when your box is done, you wanna check one last time if everything fits nicely inside so the legs of the cooling rack fit nicely on the legs of the dehydrator and then your tempered glass and then the last thing you want to check if this notch is actually doing uh, what it was intended for and raising the, the glass which it does that's about it the the tempered glass is not going to be attached in any way to the dehydrator. If you do want to attach it, you can use some rubber and some glue, so like proper uh, flexible rubber pieces, like one here and one here, with some heavy duty glue, just to make some hinges. But we're not going to do that, because this rack is going to stay in front of our door, literally, because we don't have a garden or anything else. So it's going to stay in front of our door, and that's where on a sunny day is going to dehydrate our favorite fruits and vegetables. So that's it guys. I hope you found this video interesting and educational. This is our DIY dehydrator. Really nice, easy to use, made with everyday items that I'm sure you can find at home. A piece of glass, uh, some wood from a pallet, or if you have it laying around your property or something like that, really quick. And I'm actually very excited now because we have this, because we're gonna start dehydrating a lot of things. Fruits, you can put them in, in cereals, uh, you can eat them as a snack when you want something sweet and healthy. There's, you know, there's endless uses for this beautiful piece of kit. It looks like a drawer, <laughs> so at least I can make drawers now, but yeah. If you like the video, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, let's stay connected and uh, share your pictures in case you do it and you try it let us know in the comments how it went it should be super inexpensive if you have the wood and um, the glass the drying rack can be replaced with a piece of mosquito net or something like that that has holes to aerate itself and and get some ventilation so the the fruits and veggies are not going to mold and worst case scenario, you can literally take a drawer that you don't use from a nightstand or something like that, disassemble the bottom and just, that's it. You can make yourself a dehydrator from a drawer. We didn't have one, so that's why we made it from scratch, but hey, whatever works. <laughs> so I'll leave you with that. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, uh, let us know because we always do some DIY projects and we can film them and share them with you. See you next time.